As we all know, big baits catch bigger fish. And that's why in today's video, we are pond fishing with big swim baits. While it may be more difficult to get many bites while throwing big swim baits, you tend to catch bigger caliber bass. So make sure you stick around for these wild swim bait catches. And as always, throw bombs, catch tanks. All right, guys, this is the big swim bait only day of fishing. I'm starting off with this little glide bait right here. We got Aiden in the back again. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Ready to catch some big ones today? So Aiden, in the last video, I was only throwing a frog all day, but he picked up this gizzard shad. Let me see that thing real quick. He spanked a big one on it. What was that fish like? Six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. But uh, we're just going to be throwing swim baits today. It's a hot summer day. Little to no wind, which I think could be a good thing with these glide baits today. Hopefully we see a bunch of fish. Hopefully we don't have a bunch of followers, but I know it's going to happen. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We're gonna go ahead and hop into this. I actually got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. This S waiver right here is not too big of a bait. You know, I like throwing it on a medium heavy. You got a good bit of backbone. Also, I have a good bit of tip there. And uh, if you guys wanna check out any of the kicking combos, kickingtheirbass.com, they'll be linked down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports me and the brand. But let's go ahead and get after it. We're gonna start on some of these lay downs here. And then uh, as we work out towards the main lake, we'll go hit some of these pad patches. And uh, I think we're gonna get a big one today. More, more than one big one. What do you think is gonna be the big fish today? If you want a seven pounder, seven or eight pounder. So the last two videos me and Aiden filmed out here, we did a big worm and then we did a frog video. Both days we had a six pounder. But with throwing these big baits today and kind of sticking and dying by it, I think we're gonna have to end up getting one around seven to eight pounds. Maybe even bigger. Maybe we'll get surprised. 12. You said they're in here, so it can definitely happen. Yeah, come on. Oh, you got one already, bro. He was so shallow. There he goes. I was not paying attention either. He was way up there. You wouldn't think so many small ones would be able to eat this thing. This one, I feel like some more small ones would get it, but that one's just so much heftier, you know? Somewhere on that. Dude, right there. Oh my gosh, I looked away. That was a sick eat. Oh man, that was sick. We heard a fish blow up on the other side of the bank. I know you guys saw that fish come up and eat it too. That was insane. Maybe just need to slow it down ever so slightly, dude. Or we can just get distracted. Every once in a while we look away. That's what happened with yours too. You weren't even watching it. Oh man, that was cool. Well guys, that's a great start. Especially when you're throwing a bait this big. You know, you don't expect to, to get a ton of bites. And uh, we've only been in the water for 10 minutes. Already had two two bites. We had them hooked, it just didn't stay pinned. Nothing big yet, but it's just awesome to see activity. This is like kind of what I started off on. I haven't got too big into the big swim bait deal, but I feel like this was a good like starter bait. Yeah. All the swim baits I got have been from this past year. Today is really the first day I've ever just only brought out swim bait stuff. I just feel like the summertime too. You know, when we came out here with the big worm, that's a prime summertime bait. You know, these fish would rather have a big meal than a small meal. And uh, I feel like these swim baits, kind of a similar case. Like they're just being beautiful today. Not too much wind. We can kind of watch our baits too. I think that's very important, especially when you're fishing a glide bait, especially. Kind of being able to see your bait and pay attention because if you don't pay attention when you're throwing a glide bait you can mess up i mean you guys saw right there i wasn't paying attention and had that one come up and eat it i was watching it. i can work it in a certain way or i can kind of play with them or twitch it kind of make them commit but you see a lot of followers on a glide bait that's one thing they kind of break your heart i remember one of the last times i went glide bait fishing i had some big ones follow me in that we never got like an opportunity on and kind of mess with your head Yeah. Oh, there we go, Bubba. First fish on the swim bait, boys. Right on this little point. I'm coming into a point, not a big one. But we'll take him. First fish on the old glide bait. Look at this, dude. See that little spot on his tongue, guys? That is so weird. He's barely hooked. Look at this. What is that? I've never seen that. Well, that's the first fish, guys. Just about a pound and a half. Got to start somewhere. And that is the first one on the little glide bait. And this is the spot up here, guys, where Aiden catches his giants. 
not only did he catch one the last time we were up here but he's caught a lot of big fish in this area so we might be able to call some of these big girls up i'm going to continue to throw this a little bit and i kind of want to show y'all what else i got or what else i brought out today so obviously just a standard little glide bait S waiver. I bought this like little bluegill swim bait. I found that online. This is what I'm really excited for is this glide bait right here. This is the, uh, it's like a golden shiner. It's freaking massive. Compared to that S waiver, it's got at least another three inches on it. I'm excited about this one today because I think I'm gonna catch a tank on it. Got another S waiver. And then these are just like some wake gills, more of a wake bait. I I've honestly haven't thrown this. I think it's just a hybrid of a wake bait and a swim bait. Then obviously, Got old big boy mag draft today. I'm gonna have to give these a shot, Aiden. This might be a, our sauce. But um, that's one of my favorite swim baits of all time. But we're gonna give it a little bit of time and just fish some of these other ones. I'm gonna keep throwing this just to see if we can get a couple more fish on the board. And then we'll, slowly throughout the day, we'll just keep on adjusting and switching to some different baits. So usually guys, like when you're throwing this S waiver, and I've been asking this all in the videos, if you guys were to throw this S waiver, especially for y'all that have thrown it, how would you guys fish it? Leave your comments down below. But right here, you know, I got a simple strategy right now. I'm throwing out there, just a standard steady retrieve, right? Just like this. And every once in a while, I'm giving it a couple pops just to give it that sporadic movement. So pretty much when a, when a fish is tailing a swim bait, he's usually gonna tail it when you're just reeling it. Just steady like this, right? And if he's behind it, usually when you give it that sporadic pop, most of the time they're gonna commit. It's more of a 50-50. They're either gonna commit or they're gonna swim off. In that case, that fish swam off. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm going with though. Just kind of throwing out there, steady retrieve, get that sim this basic glide action. And then every once in a while, give it a couple twitches but for a fish to follow it just know he's not gonna follow it on you twitching it he's gonna follow you on your steady retrieve that's really when they're gonna track in on the bait so something to pay attention to but we're gonna play with various retrieves today but if you guys have any suggestions or tips on how you guys work this bait definitely comment them down below i would love to read them had a bite the last couple of times hopefully they'll just be there oh dude oh my gosh Oh, this is giant, Aiden. He's right at the boat. He's right at the boat. Watch this. Just keep it steady. Is he still there? Oh my god. That was a stud, dude. That was like a four or five pounder. Mmm. Boys, we haven't had many followers, but that was the one that freaking catch. Jeez. That happens when you swim bait fish, boys. That does suck though. Sad because I, I saw him tailing behind it and I kind of twitched it. And instead of him just turning on it and eating it, it's not like he just went away like I was talking about earlier. He kind of, yeah, he, he was just kind of hovering below it still. If I would have had a longer cast of that fish, that would have been better. He came right off that little point right there on that pad patch. We haven't had many followers, but that's a good sign. So hopefully next time we give him a commit, I just ran out of room. Got a little too close to the boat. Feel like we're gonna get one here soon, dude, right up here. Something that I commit right here. Come on, baby. Aiden got a couple bites here, guys. The last few times we came out, we'll get lucky here. Right at the mouth of this little creek that goes back in here. Yeah. That's a big one, dude. He's got me in the pads. Oh, no, it's not, dude. That fish felt so large. I mean, it's not a bad one by any means, but I thought I had like at least a five pounder. That was a perfect little transition spot for him to be in now. Uh, I'll show you guys where I caught him. Pretty little fish. Dude, I really thought I had a tank, man. He ate it like a big one. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Our second catch on the S Wava. Had those other followers and bites, but nice little close to two pounder. So that fish, you see where that patch of grass is? So right there in that grass patch, and then you got these pads, and it was right in that little crevice. Just like a little highway. I threw it in there, and he didn't even hesitate. I mean, he just dove over the top of it, kind of how that first fish was. Just about every bite we've had today, they've hit it like right when it started cranking. The one yeah. bite I've had was like that, where they actually got hooked. It's like the initial, yeah. initial cast. There you go, guys. We're getting somewhere, slowly but steady. The big ones are definitely gonna come. We ain't gonna give up. We just gotta keep on pushing through. Stay confident here, make a lot of casts. We're gonna have some big bites. I think kind of acts like a fluke whenever you twitch it, like comes up. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a seven pounder. 
Holy crap, dude. That was the biggest bass I've seen in a minute. You just didn't see, man. Interested? He rolled on it one time. He rolled on it one time and was gone. I couldn't tell how thick he was. If he's thick, that's an eight pounder all day long. That's a big one, boy. You can over exaggerate. I promise <laughs> you, I'm not over exaggerating. That was a giant. I believe you. Hey, they're in here, man. I believe you want every bit. That's the problem with these big swim baits, boys. Yeah. It's like it almost hurts your feelings even more. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather almost not see the fish than see him come up behind it and just not even eat it. And then he looks at you in the eyes and then you're like, okay, this is stupid. That's the one tough part about swim bait fishing, boys. You're gonna have a lot of followers, a lot of ones that just chase it back and they just don't want to commit. Even the ones today, like I had a lot that followed me back. He had a lot that followed him back. And I caught those two, but those two were like initial like hit the water, crank a couple times, and then they ate it. Like, I'm contemplating figure eighting it, bro. <laughs> Start figure eighting it as it gets on the boat. Look at that, dude. Right there. Right in between those pads. Golly. All right, boys, we're about to go up in the sauce. We're feeling it. Should have some cool stuff happening here, hopefully. It looks so good. Like, you'd think a giant would just be right there in that corner and that shit. I couldn't see, dang it. That looks like a solid bump. <laughs> it sucks because I could have seen it the whole time until we hit that shade and it just totally went black. And then all of a sudden I saw the water move and I felt something, so I'm like, wait. Over here manifesting a bite. There's no way. Have you ever broken a chip in there? Knock on wood, no. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just lucky. But these tips on the kicking rods, I, I made sure they don't have like an inner piece yeah. when we designed them. Cause I told him, I was like, I don't want this thing breaking like that. Kind of aggravate when that little center piece comes out, you know? There we go. That was a sick eat, dude. Not big, but oh my gosh. You see him come out of nowhere and eat that thing? <laughs> that was sick, dude. Well, they're smoking the thing as waiver boys. We're not catching a ton, but we're still getting a good amount of bites and that's just keeping it fun here for us. You know, sometimes the swim bait fishing can be really tough. Some of these fish are eating, but we just got back here in this cove. I think it's gonna be pretty nasty. I think we're gonna have some opportunities. We just gotta pay attention. That fish ate it perfectly up in that shade in between that tree. We've had a lot of luck right here with a frog recently. Just if we can get him to eat the swim bait. See, that one was the same way as the other two, bro. Like, I just reeled it. Yeah. Starting to make me think if I should even, like, twitch it. I feel like for the bigger ones, you might have to do that. So much bait in this pocket, boys. We should get slammed. Oh, God, oh, bro. That thing literally ate it. Bro, that. Oh my gosh, he ate it, dude. Oh my gosh, that was insane. No way. Oh. I'm gonna lose my mind, bro. What just happened? He came back. What just freaking happened? Well, there we go, boys. We're gonna get back in there. Aiden literally missed that fish, and the fish just like came back at it like a dang shark. What's going on? Oh, I got another one. No way. Oh, dude, this is it, bro. This We're about to get on him. Keep our boat right here. We're about to sleep up. Oh my God. Dude, I've never had that happen what before. Dude, he, I missed him and he got shot out of nowhere. I wasn't even like working the bait when he hit it the second time. Dude, that's crazy. It's like you hook set and then he came They're back sick, for too. it instantly. What just happened, dude? Guys, I don't know what's going on. Well, we're gonna continue to try to catch him. That was pretty crazy. It's like a quick little feeding frenzy and then it just turned off. That's one. We're really throwing these baits where we shouldn't be throwing them, but it's working. So, just gotta be careful with all these pads and grass. Oh, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Dude, he literally acted like he was gonna eat it like a top water. <laughs> yeah, that fish literally just tailed it right up to the boat. Guys, that corner was fire yet again. How many did we get there? Like three? Two, three, yeah. Crazy Gosh, fish. yeah, we could have just slammed them. We're going to work back out here. I think we're going to have some more bites. This is definitely a good little zone for us to throw these. That little pocket honestly wasn't the best. There's just so much bait. They were eating good. <laughs> that was so crazy, man, when we doubled up or almost doubled up. I've never seen a fish just get so tunnel visioned. 
We had that happen honestly about a month ago where the fish just gets so tunnel vision on the bait that he'll just follow it back when you miss him. Like not all bass are like that, but sometimes it happens for sure. Well, we're gonna finish up fishing this little shallow pocket, get through all this, and then uh, we're probably gonna go back towards some of those deeper holes and throw either some of the big mag drafts or some heavy swim baits and try to hunt for some of them dang eight, nine pounders. We're just having a little bit of fun right now. Trying to catch what we can back in this pocket. Definitely a chance that we could catch some monsters in here, but I feel like a majority of those big ones are going to come on that big mag out deep. Slow us down. Gosh. <laughs> that was Aiden, you're trying to kill us, man. Oh my gosh. You know what's funny is you said gator, so I'm looking at that thing out there. Is that what you were talking about? Or you were talking you were talking about that one? I knew there was a gator right there though. I could see the bubbles from the weight. Hey, hold on. Take take me out there. That was a daggum 19 foot. Dude, that was big. That was definitely big. You think that's the one we saw back by the boat ramp? No, couldn't be. He looked at us like you better keep bringing the boat right here. Like I'm gonna take a piece of it. Yeah, he was normal. Yeah. Usually they get a little finicky. He just had that little side eye looking at us. He's like, I dare you to pull up a little closer. That's why I was like, Aiden, you want to... I know there's no brakes in a boat. <laughs> you want to <laughs> throw it in reverse, sir. All right, boys, that time of the video, we've caught a good bit on this S waiver, and uh, I've had fun with it for sure. I would have totally kept throwing it, but to keep it interesting, I kind of want to try out this Golden Shiner. I have not thrown this bait before, ever. So it's just something I saw on, online, and I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. So go ahead and take her out of the package. Yeah, look at that. Boys, that's going to catch a freaking donkey if we can get him to bite it. That thing looks good. It's really slim too, man. I'm curious to see if it's going to move more like a standard glide bait like that S waiver, just kind of like how that bull shad does. All right, boys, here goes nothing. Let me know if you guys have thrown this swim bait too. Oh, look how it sinks. It's like a slow fall, but it still sinks faster. Yeah, let's see. Hold on. Oh, bro. Look at that thing. Look, look. That looks identical. That looks like a lot more real. Oh, you hear it? it Listen to it. Oh my God, dude, we're gonna get creamed. Oh man, this thing's gonna be nasty, boys. This is a big bait. We'll see if the gold shiner color will work. What do you think? I think I just steam, I, I wanna say steamroll it, but steady retrieve it kind of like this. So pretty much with this bait, with the S waiver, I would throw it in there and give it a couple twitches. So with this bait, I can throw it out there. I can standard standardly reel it in like this. And then whenever I want to give it sporadic movement, instead of twitching it, I can always twitch it. But if I stop it, the bait actually spins around. So say a bass is behind it, tail in like this, and you stop it, the bait's going to turn and look at the bass. Therefore, the bass is going to eat it. So this thing might get slammed, boys. This might be our little secret weapon for today. Here you go, your, uh, your seven pounder you missed. I think he'll eat it. You might get mad at this thing, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Dude, I mean, it was only, yeah, it was only every bit of like two, three pounds, but he was behind it. Jeez, man. I just got my personal bet. Did you really? Yeah. How big? Eight pounds, 12 ounces. Wow. Nice. That's awesome. What'd you catch him on? Sanko. Sanko? Heck yeah. Up in the pads? Yeah. There you go, man. That's awesome. That's a big one. Yeah, man. That was close. He's working it super slow. Say what? Working it super slow. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. The boys, that guy said he caught his PB, which is an 812. That's almost a nine, bro. That's an eight and three quarter. That's a freaking giant. So he just caught it on a Senko. That's worth throwing some of the biggest baits we've ever thrown in our life. <laughs> we just got to be patient, boys. You know, we're doing the, the most. We're definitely doing the most right now, but we've caught some fish. We've seen some giants. He had a big one follow him back. I had a pretty big one. On, it was actually on this point. Follow me back. It's just, we got to be patient, keep fishing. The swim bait kick is one of those deals that we're not going to get slammed every fish that's behind it. You know, we're just going to have to keep our heads down and keep grinding away. That's the trick with it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So stay tuned, boys. We're going to get us a big one. We're not giving up. We haven't even really put a lot of effort in some of the super big fish holes yet. And that might be where we need to be. I'm telling you, bro, we just stay, we stay patient here. We're, one of us are gonna get a bite, I feel like. Just like that. 
just like that. That's a giant. I think. Is it a giant? But the bait's just so freaking large. It ain't even that big, I'm Aiden. Didn't it look huge or am I going? Whenever I think you got a bite, like say that you got a bite, dude, I thought I saw like a big <laughs> okay, I'm glad you saw that because I saw the same thing. Look at that. Oh, I'm the golden shiner. That is sick. Working it a little more aggressive. You know that glide bait? Kind of have to work it slow. This one I can kind of reel it pretty fast. Well, that is sick, boys. Caught our first fish on the golden shiner and he did not disappoint. That was a cool bite. Came up and just slammed it. Thank you, baby. Wow. Well, Aiden. That was sick. And we kind of spoke it into existence. That wasn't the eight pounder that we wanted, but. Dude, I thought it was. I looked up, I was like, dude, that is a big one. It's funny because my brain did the same thing. Maybe, I think it's when we're talking about big ones. Like it happens to me all the time. We'll be like, I'm about to catch a dang 10 pounder here. And then like a three pounder bites it, but in your head, it looks like it's freaking 15 pounds. <laughs> it's like your imagination plays tricks on you. <laughs> well, let's keep it going, boys. We might. Dude, I'm feeling this bridge, Aiden. Dude, I thought that fish was at least five pounds when he ate. My bad, dude. I tried. I'm not a professional swim bait angler. Either. I wish I was, but sadly I'm not. Gosh, he's in there too. Come here, baby. Oh. Okay. Thank you, sir. Not what we wanted, boys, but we got her off. How deep did you say this bridge is? It's like 11. Dude, I just feel like, man, this should be the spot. I feel like this would totally be one of the spots you'd smack a giant, but maybe not. It's pretty cool, guys, seeing the difference. Like this one right here is like a big standard shad, right? Then you got Aiden's, which is a big gizzard shad, and there's some gizzard shad in here, so we're kind of hitting both. Target's on the head here, which is awesome. But we're just trying to figure out how to work these. If you've thrown this swim bait that I'm throwing, I think it's called a four play. You guys just steam it in pretty quick. You slow roll it, stop it, pause it, pop it. I know a lot of you guys probably throw swim baits more than me. I, it's not something I do all the time. I enjoy doing it when we get to do it. It's just, it can kind of be hard to film these videos because you don't get a ton of bites, you know? Something you really got to grind at. Like this point right here just looks pleasing. It's Good shady point. All right, guys, little update. All we're doing now, we're fishing this little pocket. See, we got all these pad patches. Pretty much what we're doing is we're just taking these swim baits, throwing on the edge of them and just burning them in, trying to trigger any fish to come out of the pads and get a big meal. It's pretty much our game plan right now. Just throwing right there on the edge of them. Most of these pad patches, you would assume have fish in there, but they just might not be active. What's up? So they might just be so deep in the pads, might need to hit a punching bite. Yeah, the punching bite would be disgusting. There are so many other baits, guys, that we could be throwing right now. It's just for these videos, you know, we get, we literally live and die by what we're throwing. That's what makes these videos fun to watch. It's just, we know that we could pick up a dang worm, frog, punchery, and go slay them. Oh, dude, they're schooling right there. Cooling right there. I think I was two. Oh, here we go, brother. You ready? I'm about to get freaking. Can you get up a little bit? Oh, dude, he's like, oh my god, he was on it, bro. He was right on it. That one wasn't a big one. There was definitely multiple fish there, though. Dang. See, that was a small one that I had behind me, but. Yeah, that was a big fish that initially jumped. Boys, this is the bridge that I ended up catching that six pounder on. That one day we came out with the big worms. Oh, no. Hit the go. Oh, he ate it in half. No, $30. Dude, that sucks. Here, time on on. Come on, on. I was not yeah. ready for yeah, that. Yeah, tie, tie this one on. So this is the color that Aiden had. I, I personally like this color better. Big fish really want these swim baits. All right, guys, we took the boat out of the water. We got Aiden. He said this place is, he says it's the sauce. Loaded. Oh yeah. He says juicy. So we fished the lake. Now we're going to fish a pond and do a little bit of bank fishing. Just mix it up. Got Andrew too. What's going on, brother? Uh, how you doing? Good, how are you? He's going to be fishing with whatever he wants. So me and Aiden still kind of sticking true to the old swim baits, but he said they'll start schooling out here really good. And that's what I'm hoping we'll get on. How deep is it out there? Seven, eight foot. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm going to continue and throw this S waiver and just 
hope that we get some good fish. It just got so hot on the boat and we needed to go get some water. And then we we're like, let's just go do a little bit of bank fishing. I'm like, dude, I'm down with it. So we'll see what we get. Maybe we'll end up hooking a giant. We had some big followers in that other place, but just couldn't get any of the big ones to commit. Had that one that was like a good three number. But other than that, it was pretty tough. But then again, we're living and dying by the swim bait. If we were throwing other baits, we probably have, would have got some other big bites. But let's see what we can do here. I don't like throwing this bait on this rod though. I'm not gonna lie. It's a 7.3 heavy. It's big enough. Got one, got one boys. Oh, it's a stud, dude. Oh boys, we got a giant. We got a giant, so, oh, it's not a giant, it's a stud though. It's probably a three plus pounder. This is a big one, son. Come on, baby. That's a good one, we need this fish. In a good spot, baby. Choked it, baby. That's how you want him to eat it, son. That's a three pounder, boy, I'm not gonna lie. Over-exaggerated, hardcore on the size of that fish. But hey, we got a good one. It's a really healthy fish. Goes, baby. Back into the depths. How expensive does it sell for? Like 140? Got him. Good. We're gonna chase him down, baby. Ooh. Dude, look at his head, dude. That's like a four. That's like a two and a half pounder in a four pounder's body. He's kind of like got a little gut on him though. All right, boys. Final destination. Aiden's came in clutch with the bank fishing. He had a, he had a tough time on the boat, but he's came back. And now we're in the spot. This little pocket. See if we can get a couple bites over here. I actually threw a few casts before we even hopped on the boat here, and I had a couple followers on this S waiver, so maybe we can get McSmoked. Still waiting on that big one to bite. You ever catch them on that corner tree right there? On the day, in the summer when you can tell it's going to be a good day, is when you launch the boat and you catch them off the tree. Yeah. Sometimes it's a good one. Surprised they're not pop. Oh, there we go, baby. That's a, that feels like a good one, dude. His skin hooks. Is he just hooks weird? Yeah, he is. Did you see that boil? <laughs> Dude, he slapped it cold turkey though. That thing freaking hammered it, boy. Finally got on board here on the bank. He just stopped that thing. I mean, just, he had to have been in that grass and just came out. Threw a good parallel cast right down that bank. Definitely felt bigger than what he was, but still a pretty bass. Beautiful. Thank you, buddy.